Before he built one of the world's most powerful companies and aimed for the stars, Jeff Bezos spent his summers on a working ranch in Texas, learning lessons that would shape his life forever. But what most people don't know is that Jeff was unknowingly following the same principles that are the foundation of the warrior shaman business growth system. Principles that have guided him through his toughest challenges and to his greatest successes. From the age of four until he was 16, Jeff spent every summer on his grandfather's ranch. It wasn't just a vacation, it was work, real hard work. His grandfather was a huge influence on him, teaching him values like self-reliance and resourcefulness. In Jeff's words, He did everything himself. He made his own veterinary tools. He would make needles to suture the cattle up with. Like he would find a little piece of wire and heat it up and pound it thin and drill a hole in it and sharpen it. And it's from those early experiences that Jeff began to develop the mindset of the shaman. The shaman mindset is all about seeing problems differently, embracing creative solutions, and connecting deeply with your intuition. All of my best decisions in business and in life have been made with heart, intuition, guts, uh, you know, uh, not, not uh, anal analysis. If you want to experience this level of transformation in your own life, here's a tool to start. Embrace creative solitude. Spend time alone every day, just 15 minutes, in a quiet space to reflect on the problems you're facing. Avoid distractions. Like Jeff on that ranch, let your mind wander. Ask yourself, what's the solution I'm not seeing right now? What's possible that I haven't considered yet? Write down any thoughts, no matter how wild, because creativity Creativity flows best in solitude. Jeff's time with his grandfather taught him that solutions often come from unexpected sources. That's the foundation of the shaman mindset, trusting your own insight and intuition to solve problems. I believe in the power of wandering. One summer, Jeff and his grandfather spent months repairing a 1955 Caterpillar bulldozer. We spent an entire summer fixing, like repairing that bulldozer. We'd, you know, use mail order to to buy big gears for the transmission and they'd show up they'd be too heavy to move so we'd have to build a crane you know just that kind of kind of that problem solving mentality um he had it so powerfully this wasn't just a project it was a lesson in the warrior mindset facing difficult challenges head on with relentless determination the warrior mindset is about strength resilience and action it's knowing that even when the obstacles seem too big you have what it takes to push through here's a tool to develop your warrior energy micro wins lead to big confidence. Just like Jeff and his grandfather tackled the bulldozer piece by piece, you can build your resilience by focusing on small, achievable wins every day. Break down your biggest challenges into micro tasks and focus on completing them. Each small victory builds confidence. Warriors aren't made overnight. They're built through consistency and small steps forward, no matter how difficult the path may seem. Bezos took those lessons from the ranch when he left his high paying job in New York to start Amazon in 1994. This is the uh, first office of Amazon.com Inc. This is my desk here. It. So it take long to tour the offices of Amazon.com Inc. He was fully aware of the risks. Scared, anxious, you know, thought the odds of success were low, told all of our early investors that I thought there was a 30% chance of success, by which I just been getting your money back, not mm. like turning out what actually happened. But he didn't hesitate. That doesn't mean you can't be optimistic. So you kind of have to have this duality in your head. Like you, on the one hand, you're, you know what the baseline statistics say about startup companies. And the other hand, you have to ignore all of that and just be 100% sure it's gonna work. The key to this leap was not just his problem solving skills, but his mindset as a business owner. The business owner mindset is about vision, systems, and long-term thinking. People will stop me and say, congratulations on your quarter, and I say, thank you. But what I'm really thinking is that quarter was baked three years ago. Bezos focused on systems that would scale and not just survive the day to day. A thousand years ago, we started this thing called customer reviews, and we let customers review books. We only sold books at that time. But back then, this was crazy. The, uh, uh, the publishers, the book publishers, 
did not like this. And now nobody criticizes customer reviews. Here's a tool to help you tap into that business owner mindset. Build systems that scale, just like Bezos focused on the one click shopping and warehouse automation. You need to create systems in your business that can grow without needing your constant input. Take time to document your processes, automate what you can and delegate to your team. This frees you up to focus on vision, on strategy, and not just the daily operations, not just constantly putting out fires. This is how you transition from just being busy to being really productive. It's how you start thinking like a business owner who builds a legacy. But Bezos' vision didn't just stop with Amazon. He always had his sights set on something bigger, space. With Blue Origin, Bezos dreams of a future where millions of people live and work in space. I would love to see, you know, a, a you know, a trillion humans living in the solar system. If we had a trillion humans, we would have at any given time a thousand Mozarts and a thousand Einsteins. His ultimate goal? To build the infrastructure that future generations can use, much like the internet infrastructure that powers Amazon. From fixing fences on a ranch in Texas to building rockets for the stars, Bezos' journey shows us that transformation is possible for anyone willing to adopt the right mindset. Whether you're looking to tap into your shaman intuition, summon your warrior strength, or think like a business owner, these tools can guide you. So take a page from Bezos' journey, spend time in creative solitude, stack your micro wins, and build systems that scale. These are the tools that can help you achieve your own transformation. More information on how you can join a powerful community that is actively using these same specific tools to skyrocket their business. Businesses. There's a link in the description. Quick question. Who do you think would win in an MMA fight? Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk? Fight. Let me know in the comments.